Julian Lisa, talk us through the, the key findings here. I touched on a couple of those, but can you explain in a bit more detail what the inquiry found? Well, I think, Kieran, you're right. The, the urgency of the inquiry is important. We've had 150,000 working holidaymakers, foreign backpackers, in the country at the beginning of the year. That's something that's dropped to something of the order of 70,000. There are farms where up to 60% of the workforce is working holidaymakers, and their activities are worth $13 billion to the fresh produce industry. So there's a shortage that needs to be filled. We thought it was important to look at the obvious cohort that's here in Australia, which is Australians who would have gone overseas for a gap year um, experience in Britain, in Europe, in America, in Asia, and encourage them to have their gap year at home, encourage them to go out to see the country, uh, to meet other young people, but importantly to help us get the fruit off the tree. Uh, and one of the incentives that we've put in place there, we've recommended that the government put in place, is some sort of hex help discount. Yes, young people who are doing that work would get paid, uh, but we thought it might be good to have that additional incentive as well. Yep, well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Plus, they get to see a, a part of the nation, because often, uh, and I, I think you would have seen this as well through your experience, that people head overseas see more of the world than they do of their own country. That's right. Look, uh, too often Australians see Berlin before they see Bundaberg, and we wanted to, to change that. I think this is a great opportunity. So often young people in my electorate tell me uh, that they're looking to make a contribution to do something that's meaningful. Well, this is a time where their country needs them and I want to encourage them to, to take up this opportunity. Uh, one of the things that we know about Australia as a destination for people who are doing uh, working holidaymaker type work is that we are the most popular destination in the entire OECD for people to have a backpacking experience. So there's great opportunities for Australians to do, to do this work. And one of the things we also know is that the uh, number of Australians living in cities that have any connection um, with the bush now is really declining significantly. And I think it's important that Australians who live in the cities have an understanding of what life is like in the country and have a, a, a better understanding of agriculture. We heard evidence from one farmer in Emerald in Queensland who told us that he's pulling out trees in 100 hectares. Those trees are, they were, are worth 15% of his business. They'll take six to seven years if he replants them to get them back into full production. Australia mm. as a country can't afford to have uh, that sort of loss of production uh, that will have a flow-on effect to, to prices and availability of fruit and vegetables if it's repeated across the country. So we need to fill okay. the workforce. So, yeah, the other component, though, it's not just the international borders that are the issue here, is it? What was the, the state border issue as far as you, uh, you know, examined it in the inquiry? And, you know, further to that, it, it would need to be eased the problem of state border closures in order to undertake the sort of measures that you're proposing. Absolutely, and we've made recommendations in relation to this. We've suggested that the uh, where it's safe to do so in terms of health risk, that the states open the borders uh, uh, for people who are undertaking this critical work in agriculture and horticulture, uh, because it is so important that you get the workforce where it's needed. We know the harvest trail in Australia starts in one part of the country and uh, effectively moves right around the country over the next few months. Uh, and so we need to make sure that we've got the workforce that can get the fruit off the trees. And if it's good enough for Germans and Canadians and Brits to do this, I'm sure it's good enough for Australians to do as well. And, and finally, the, the call from the tourism industry is for the current visa holders to have their visas extended. Would you like to, would you like to see that? And also measures to enable more backpackers to come into the country with appropriate quarantining? We, we've agreed with the tourism industry in relation to this uh, that we should definitely see extensions of anybody who's here who can be encouraged to go and do further work in, in agriculture and horticulture. And we've made some recommendations about uh, how the program might be reopened um, as, the, as the international borders reopen, prioritising people who've already had approval to do this work. Liberal MP Julian Lisa, thanks. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Kieran.